Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can locally install Starcoder 2 model on your system with only one GPU. On my local machine I have one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM and 32 GB of RAM. Before I show you how to get it installed, let me give you a quick overview of this fantastic brand new model. Star Coder 2 model which I'll be installing will be the 3 billion parameter model and this model has been trained on 17 programming languages from the stack v2 with opt-out request excluded. The model uses group query attention, a context window of around 16,000 tokens with a sliding window attention of 4,000 tokens. And it was trained using the fill in the middle objective on 3 plus trillion tokens. How good is that? Now, there are a lot of goodies around this model. Star Coder 2 offers significant performance improvement over the original Star Coder, while remaining one of the few LLMs to provide full access to ethically sourced inspectable training data. This enables businesses to use code generation tools with confidence knowing they are not infringing copyrights. Star Coder 2 model is a family of model. It comes in the sizes 3 billion, 7 billion and 15 billion. It has been trained on 3.1 to 4.1 trillion tokens and it leverages the stack v2 plus code, math and reasoning data sets. It includes various programming languages including rare like COBOL. And I'm told that it includes around 619 programming languages, which is simply unbelievable. This star coder model 3 billion outperforms original star coder 15 billion model. Not only that, but this model in 15 billion parameter size has outperformed code llama 34 billion on human eval plus and MBPP plus benchmark. Also, GSM 8K score of 65.1 indicates strong reasoning for size for this model. As I said, it has been uh, completed by ServiceNow, Hugging Face and NVIDIA. ServiceNow trained 3 billion, Hugging Face trained 7 billion and NVIDIA trained the 15 billion model. How cool is that? Also, its license is pretty uh, broad and allows a commercial usage. It is available in small or full training models of varying sizes and this uh, small one includes 525 billion tokens over 17 core languages whereas the full version includes 913 billion tokens over 619 languages. It has expanded data sources including GitHub, Issues and Kaggle notebooks plus it uses new data cleaning to exclude non-permissively licensed code. Awesome stuff. Okay, now let me take you to my local Ubuntu system where we will be installing it. So let me quickly go and show you my Ubuntu system. Give me a sec. There you go. So this is my Ubuntu system with 22.04. Let me clear my screen. Make sure that you have latest version of Transformers installed. So pip install transformers dash dash upgrade hopefully i will have the latest one but let's see that is done let me clear my screen and let me launch my python interpreter now the first thing we need to do is to import some of the modules like auto model for causal lm and the auto tokenizer now auto uh, model for causal LM. This imports this auto model for causal LM class which is used for causal language models like GPT-2, GPT-3 and auto tokenizer which is used for tokenizing text inputs. Let me press enter. That's done. Now in the second step let's specify our model. I'll just use big code check uh, point which is star coder to 3 billion and then because I have one GPU so I am going to use CUDA as a device and then let's specify our checkpoint here now <coughs> um, when we say that we are specifying 
the device to CUDA, as I said, the model should be running on GPU for faster computation. And for, if for some reason GPU is not available, then you can set it to CPU to use the CPU. Okay, now let's use uh, initialize our tokenizer. For the specified model checkpoint, the tokenizer is responsible for converting the text input into the format that the model can understand, or in other words, for tokenizing. So that is done. Now let's get our model and I will put it on my GPU. There you go. So this is what I'm using. There you go. So it says that the checkpoint you are trying to load has model type star code 2 but transformer does not recognize this architecture. So in that case what we need to do, we need to <coughs> install the transformer from its repo. Okay. So let me exit from here and we would need to do it because it's a very very latest model they haven't included it in their pip version it they haven't merged it so i'm exiting from here and i am going to do this pip install git plus http okay let me make it bit bigger so that you will be able to see what i'm doing okay there you go so this is what i was referring to so i am just doing pip install git plus this so i'm building it from the source press enter and then let's wait for it to finish. This will take a bit of a time because they haven't merged it in the source yet. So building all the dependencies and stuff. So let's wait for it to get completed. Shouldn't take too long. Almost there. Yep, it has uninstalled the previous one. And that's done. And we can ignore this one for now because you can see that it has installed a dev function, no problem. Let me first clear my screen. Then launch it, my Python interpreter, and now let's go with the auto tokenizer. Again, I'll just, that is done. Now let's specify the checkpoint specified again our CUDA device and then let's specify our checkpoint that is also done and now let's load our model again hopefully this will be recognized now there you go so let's wait for it to load this time and you can see this time it is working and loading the model the model size is 12 gig hopefully it will fit on my and GPU and memory. So let's wait for it to finish. Speed looks good. So model is almost downloaded. Now it is checking it out. That is all done. Let's specify our input prompt. So all I'm doing is I'm just asking it to uh, print the hello world function. Let's press enter. That is done. And now let bring let Let's ask model to generate the output. There you go. It's generating the output. You can ignore this warning. And now let's print it out. There you go. So it has printed the hello world function. And how cool is that? So this is how you can install the model star coder 2 on your local system. And these are just Python commands. So you can simply even use it on your Windows system or any other operating system easily. And now before I finish the video, uh, I mentioned two concepts in this star coder 2. One was the grouped query attention and the second one was the fill in the middle objective. Grouped query attention in machine learning is a technique used in attention mechanisms where queries are grouped based on certain criteria or features before applying attention. This approach can improve computational efficiency and model performance by focusing the model's attention on groups of similar queries enhancing its ability to extract relevant information from large and complex data sets. It's particularly useful in tasks that benefit from structured attention over input such as NLP processing and computer vision. Whereas fill in the middle or FITM objective in AI is a training approach where a model is given the beginning and end of a text and must predict the missing middle section. This method, this method helps improve a model's understanding of narrative structure 
and coherence enhancing its ability to generate logical and contextually appropriate content okay so i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think about it i will also be creating few more videos around the star coder too uh, especially around fine tuning so stay tuned if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching